how to add your buyer accounts to AutoDS and automate your incoming orders. First on AutoDS, on the left menu, click on settings. Then on top, click on buyer accounts. Now we're going to click on add account. Here we're going to fill in our buyer account information and the system will use this buyer account to automatically fulfill our orders using the account details that we will provide now. First, choose your supplier. So which supplier would you like to automate your orders from? In this example, I'm going to go with AliExpress. So I'm going to fill in my AliExpress email credentials along with the password used to log in to AliExpress. Then I'm going to fill in my full billing name, billing phone number and zip code. Now we're going to head over to the payment methods. And this is the payment method that the system is going to use to fulfill our incoming orders automatically as soon as they come in. So under account payment method, we're going to click on the drop down menu. And here we've got two options, credit card and gift card. Gift card is used for Amazon. So if you're using Amazon as your supplier, you can top up your gift card and allow the system to use your gift card balance to fulfill your orders. But in this example, we're going with AliExpress. So AliExpress doesn't have any gift cards. We're going to go with credit card. Then we're going to click on add credit card, fill in your credit card information. Now, before we click on next, we're going to click on add card. And now our card has been entered. Now, last but not least, we need to fill in the following settings. The first is maximum pending orders. How many orders do we want to have under the ordered status before allowing new orders to come in? Ordered status means that the orders have not been shipped yet, but they were ordered using your buyer account. So if you do not want to set a cap to this, you can leave this blank or otherwise fill in the maximum pending orders that you want to have in your account before allowing the system to process new orders. So in this example, I'm going to go with five. Then we've got the daily orders price limit, or in other words, what is the total price limit that you would like to order per day? For example, if your credit card is maxed out at $500 per day and you cannot spend more than that, then you're going to set your daily price limit to $500. You can also leave it blank if you do not wish to have a limit. And then we've got the options down here. So the first is auto order. In other words, would you like the system to process your order automatically as soon as it comes in? Or would you like to move the status from pending to send to auto order in order for that to happen. So if you do not want your orders to be processed automatically as soon as they come in, you're going to leave this part blank. Otherwise, fill it in. And as soon as an order comes in, the system will use your buyer account that you added in your account details and payment methods to process your order automatically, as well as update tracking information as soon as tracking information is available from your supplier. That is the second option that we see right here. So as long as we have this option on, the system is going to update tracking numbers on our orders as soon as it's available on the AutoDS platform, as well as on our selling channel. This way, our customers will be able to know what's going on with our packages and track it as soon as tracking information is available. My recommendation is to have it on. And finally, we have order scan, which isn't available here because it's only if you're using Amazon as your selling channel. And what this does is it sends you a notification as soon as an order comes in. But if you're not automating your orders from Amazon using your buyer accounts, this is not relevant. And that is all there is to it. Once we're done filling in the information, we're going to click on add. We now have a new buyer account as we can see right here. So this is the email address that I used to sign into the supplier. This is the supplier that I added a buyer account for. So it's AliExpress. My daily set limit is $200 in sales and up to five pending orders. Of course, you can leave it blank if you do not want to add a limit. Payment method is credit card. Last automatic orders. Well, no orders yet because I didn't process any orders and the status is active, meaning I can start automating my orders right now with AliExpress using my buyer account. And that is how simple it is to add a buyer account to the AutoDS system and start automating your orders.